So today I want to show you an example of how you have access to developer tools like Git right on your network elements. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using one of our new Catalyst 9300s. And by having access to these developer tools, it makes it easy for you to manage applications, uh, code, or, or scripts that you have. Uh, you can develop and test locally, and then use your typical DevOps processes and tools to distribute and update code network-wide. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and log into my device. And once I'm in my device, I'm going to go ahead and go into the guest shell. And the guest shell is a, a secure environment where we're able to run uh, Python, we can do uh, git, uh, yum install, pip install, uh, a number of the things you're probably used to in terms of kind of your modern development tools. Uh, now that we're in here, what I want to do is actually clone down a GitHub repository that I've got. Uh, and in this case, it's a private GitHub repo, so I've got to enter in my credentials. Um, and then it's going to begin downloading. Now, once this finishes downloading, we can go ahead and take a look at uh, the various um, files and folders that are inside this GitHub repository. Uh, we can also take, and I'll show you a couple of uh, examples of just normal git commands that you might already be familiar with. So once we're in here, I'll do just a quick look so you can see we've got a readme file and then a number of different folders uh, for various demos that we've got. Um, and what I want to show you is just a normal git command, uh, git log. Um, if you're not familiar, what git log does is it actually shows you a log uh, of all the different commits and changes that have been made to your GitHub repository. Uh, at the top we see the latest one uh, done by Hank. Um, we see one that I did um, you know, a little bit earlier. Uh, and so this is really kind of handy. Uh, you can also do, uh, for example, a git status. Um, what git status does is it looks at uh, both the master as well as any branches for the code that you're working on uh, and gives you a status of those. In this case, we only have our master. Uh, so it's, it's pretty clean, not a whole lot to see there. Um, and so what I want to do is actually go ahead and let's just launch a Python script. Uh, in this case, it's a hangman game. And I'm just going to do uh, a couple quick guesses, see if I can't guess my word here. It's a long word. Um, let's see. looks like it was programmability. I, I got that one. Um, so that's how we've actually been able to clone it down, but let's talk about actually making a change locally, so uh, to this words.txt file, and then how we can push that up to GitHub and then pull it down to the device. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to add a new word. I'll go with netconf, um, and these are the words that our hangman game chooses from. Well, now that I've saved that, uh, I'm going to need a to commit this change to our GitHub repository. So now I'm uh, on my device here and I'm just within that same folder uh, for the copy I have on my device. So what I want to do next uh, is actually add the words.txt uh, words file. Oh, helps if I'm in the right directory. So let's try that again. All right, so I've added it, and now I need to commit it. I just made a change. Okay, so it notes that I've got one one file that I've changed, and I did an insertion into that. Uh, I didn't do, delete anything, and so now I'm going to push this up to the GitHub repository. So you can see um, it went ahead and it, it made those changes um, up on our GitHub repository. But we want to actually see this on our device. Um, and in the past, you know, you've probably done TFTP or something like that to get files uh, onto your switch. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is pull this down uh, in GitHub. And all you have to do 
uh, is do a git pull and it's going to check for any changes and pull down what's changed. And again, because this is private, I've got to enter my username. So it's going to check. Um, it noticed that there was one change. It was my words.txt file. So it pulled that change down uh, and made the update for me. Uh, so that's just a, a great example of how uh, now on iOS XE, you have access to your standard developer tools like Git uh, so that you can you know, develop and test locally and then use your, your standard tools uh, like Git to distribute and update your code network-wide. Thanks for watching.